Now, next up, iPhone. <laughs> Apple has always believed that technology infused with humanity could improve people's lives and change the world. No other device in our lifetimes have had the impact on the world that the iPhone has. Nothing else has become so essential or put so much power into so many people's hands than iPhone. It's truly amazing how much iPhone impacts the world each and every day. Our intention with the iPhone has always been able to been to create something so powerful, so immersive, and so magical that the hardware virtually disappears. Over the last 10 years, we've reimagined or invented numerous technologies to create just that experience. The first iPhone forever changed how we interact with technology by introducing multi-touch. For the first time, you were actually touching the software instead of buttons. It was magical. The App Store changed the way we work, play, learn, communicate, spawning new companies and new industries along the way. We took the viewing experience to places literally never seen before with technologies like the Retina display. We changed the way people communicate with features like iMessage and FaceTime that allowed us all to connect in more meaningful ways. And with Siri, we used artificial intelligence to make our voices more powerful. iPhone even revolutionized security and privacy with Touch ID and our wallets with Apple Pay. And of course, iPhone put amazing, easy-to-use cameras into our hands, becoming the most popular way to capture the images of our lives. Over the past decade, we've pushed forward with innovation after innovation after innovation, bringing us to this moment, when now we can create devices that are far more intelligent, far more capable, far more personal than ever before. We have huge iPhone news for you today, and it gets started right now. iPhone 8, iPhone 8, this is a huge step forward for iPhone. And to tell you all about it, I'd like to invite Phil to the stage. Phil? Thank you, Tim. Well, good morning, everyone. I am so excited to tell you all about the new iPhone 8 and the new iPhone 8 Plus. These are a new generation of iPhone and they improve on everything we love about iPhone. The design is all new. It has glass in both the front and the back. The aluminum band beautifully matches the finish of each iPhone 8. It comes in silver, space gray, and a beautiful new gold finish. It's made from an aerospace grade 7000 series custom aluminum alloy. The glass has a seven layer color process, making sure there's a beautiful, precise hue. And the glass is further reinforced by an internal laser welded steel and copper structure. And we're so excited because this glass is the most durable ever in a smartphone. <laughs> iPhone 8 and 8 Plus is also microscopically sealed for water and dust resistance. 
and they have a new Retina HD display in each model. There's a 4.7 inch Retina display in iPhone 8 and a 5.5 inch in iPhone 8 Plus. Now Apple Retina displays are renowned for their incredible color accuracy and they have great wide cinema quality color gamut. We've built in our 3D touch technology into the display and for the first time in an iPhone display it has our True Tone technology. Now with True Tone it adapts the color temperature and intensity to the ambient light around us. Along with the displays, iPhone 8 and 8 Plus have new stereo speakers as well. They're 25% louder than the speakers in iPhone 7 and they have a deeper bass too. And this is pretty incredible. Inside iPhone 8 and 8 Plus is a brand new chip and this is a breakthrough in performance in a mobile device. We call it A11 Bionic. This is the most powerful and smartest chip ever in a smartphone. It's a 64-bit design, 4.3 billion transistors, six core. We're gonna geek out here for a bit because it is so awesome. It has two high-performance cores. They're 25% faster than the high-performance cores in the previous industry-leading A10 chip. There's four high-efficiency cores. They're up to 70% faster than the ones in the A10 chip. They're managed by our second generation performance controller that now can use all six cores at once and can deliver up to 70% improvement in multi-threaded workloads. And they have our first ever Apple de Design Graphics Processing Unit, or GPU. This is a three core design. It's 30% faster than the graphics in the previous A10. The GPU is designed to accelerate 3D apps and games, especially those that use our new Metal 2 framework. And the GPU also is incredible for machine learning apps. And those kind of tasks get a big speed up if they use our, our core machine learning framework too. There's more to it. The A11 Bionic includes our first, a new generation image signal processor, or ISP. So you know this is used in photography. It delivers faster autofocus in low light. It has new pixel processing for sharpness and texture. And for the first time, to help reduce noise, it has hardware-enabled multi-band noise reduction. All of this helps to improve performance and helps us take better pictures. Perhaps the most beloved feature of every new generation of iPhone is the cameras. And people love taking photos. And customers send us their photos for our Shot on iPhone campaign, like this one. This was sent from Jeremy Perez Cruz. He shot it with an iPhone 7 Plus. And people are going to love taking pictures with the iPhone 8 camera. It is an all-new 12-megapixel sensor. It's larger and faster. It provides 83% more light, and it provides more, it's more power efficient at the same time. It has deeper pixels and a new color filter. So this adds up to having better color saturation, a wider dynamic range of color, and lower noise in your photos and videos. iPhone 8 Plus has two new sensors in its dual camera. The wide angle camera has an f1.8 aperture and optical image stabilization. The telephoto camera has f2.8 aperture. Though as always, we wanna show you the kind of photos you can take off of our new cameras. Now these are photos we're gonna show that have not been retouched in any way. They're straight off the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. So here's the first one. This is absolutely beautiful. Now that's not the Golden Gate Bridge. This is taken in Portugal. It shows the beauty of wide color gamut. There's great dynamic range, sharpness, and incredibly low noise. Just look at that blue sky. Here's another example. It shows incredible wide quality color again. And just look at the skin tones and the detail in the hair and the eyes. If you look closely in her eyes, you can actually see the photographer reflected there holding an iPhone to take the picture. Here's a great example of the amazing textures and depth in photography. You can really feel the fabric, and you can see details in her face behind the fabric. Here's a great example of low light photography. Texture, detail, and, and very subtle colors in this darker environment. Last year we introduced portrait mode. iPhone 8 takes fantastic portrait modes. And people flip over taking these photos, and now with the iPhone 8 Plus you're gonna get sharper details more uses in low light, and even a more natural bokeh in the background of the photos. So this was a big hit. We had a, a surprise new feature last year, portrait mode. We brought it out in beta, 
And it just got better and better over time, and, and customers send us photos, they love this. So we challenged the engineering team to do that again, to make it easy for all of us to take advantage of an advanced photographic technique, and they're doing it. And it has to do with lighting. And if you've ever had a pro professional portrait taken, you know that pro photographers use advanced equipment and have a great understanding of advanced techniques to literally sculpt the light on your face to create the perfect mood for a portrait photograph. Well, our team is making this possible for all of us. Using the new dual cameras and the A11 Bionic chip and the iPhone 8 Plus, the team has come up with a new feature called portrait lighting. Now, this is beta, but it will ship with the iPhone 8 Plus. And here's how it works. When you compose a photo in the camera app using the portrait mode, the dual cameras in the ISP sense the scene. They create a depth map, they separate the subject from the background, and then using machine learning, it creates facial landmarks and actually changes the lighting of the contours over your face. And that happens while you're composing the shot. It's super easy to use. Right when you're in the camera app, you use portrait mode, and there's a new menu to select the lighting effect you want to use. You just swipe to pick a different effect for whatever you want to shoot. Now, these aren't filters. This is real-time analysis of the light on your subject's face. In fact, you can go in later, after you shot a portrait mode photo, into the Photos app and change the lighting effect to select which one you want to use on your photograph. And the team has done an unbelievable job on this. And so here's an example of a photo that's taken, not touched in any way. This is portrait mode using portrait lighting. And it's actually using the setting in portrait lighting for stage light, so it drops away the background to make this stunning, dramatic photograph. It's absolutely beautiful. So iPhone 8 and 8 Plus are incredible for taking pictures. They're also amazing for video as well. In fact, iPhone 8 has the highest quality video capture ever in a smartphone. Along with the ISP, we have an Apple-designed video encoder. This enables faster frame rates and higher quality video. It does real-time image and motion analysis to predict changes in the content and optimize the video encoding algorithms. So while you're shooting video, let's say 4K, 60 frames a second, the iPhone 8 divides each frame into individual tiles, two million of them. And we analyze the two million tiles every second looking for details like texture and edges to predict whether that tile has grass, sky, water, or movement in it. So let's say you're shooting 4K 60 frame of video, it can look like this. It's beautifully optimized for quality and for compression level. I mean, this video was shot on an iPhone in 4K. It's amazing. And if you're one of the many people who love shooting slow-mo videos, that's gotten a lot better too. Now you can shoot at 1080p HD, 240 frames a second. That's double the frame rate of previous. Absolutely beautiful. So now, iPhone 8 is incredible for shooting photos. It's incredible for video. There's a third category of use of the camera that's going to become increasingly important in our mobile devices, and that's augmented reality. This is an incredible area for us to advance in, and our teams have worked together, hardware and software, to make iPhone 8, the first camera, the first iPhone really created for augmented reality, and the first smartphone designed for it as well. We custom tune each iPhone for augmented reality. The cameras are actually individually calibrated in the factory, and that makes a huge difference in the performance for AR. There are new gyroscopes, new accelerometers, and AR kit software is tightly tuned to all this hardware to deliver the best experience for motion tracking. And AR greatly benefits from the new A11 Bionic chip. The CPU handles world tracking. The new Apple GPU renders immersive graphics at up to 60 frames a second. The new ISP does real-time lighting estimation. And this stuff is amazing that it happens on a device in the palm of our hands. So I want to show you some of the work that developers are starting to do with AR apps on iPhone 8. So here's one example. It's a game, Warhammer 40K Freeblade from Pixel Toys. You can now use their photo mode to bring the Freeblade Knight into the real world and play it right where your friends are standing around you. 
Here's another from Major League Baseball's advanced media team. They're enhancing the at-bat app with ARKit so that when you're at the game, you can hold up your iPhone and see real-time player information and stats on top of the game you're watching. And here's Sky Guide from Fifth Star Labs. You can use ARKit with this app to actually superimpose the map on top of the sky as you're looking at it around you. So this isn't some generic sky. This is the sky around you. So now we want to show you an exciting AR app right here live on stage playing on an iPhone 8. It's from Directive Games. This is a new startup based in Shanghai. It's founded by developers who have worked on some of the biggest franchises in gaming. So please welcome Atli Marr, CEO and co-founder of Directive Games. Atli? Thanks, Phil. Earlier this summer, with the introduction of ARKit, Apple changed gaming forever. What we're about to show you is one of the world's first competitive multiplayer games designed to be played entirely in augmented reality. This is The Machines. In the game, players battle their friends in real time, either online or around the table in the same room. My friend and co-founder Andrea is preparing a match for us where we play the Rebels against the Dominators. What's really cool is with ARKit and Metal 2 on the new iPhone, we are able to experience games in an entirely new way. Since players are able to view the game from any angle, our content has to be incredibly detailed. With the power of the new iPhone and Unreal support for Metal 2, we are able to render the entire level on screen, an amazing 1.2 million polygons, while also allowing you to move in close to really appreciate the high visual fidelity. And just look at those 4K textures. It's gorgeous. Now, shall we go into the game? AR allows us to use our position in the real world to gain a tactical advantage. Just look how Andre is moving towards this cave, lining up his targets. This is something that would have been hard to do with Pinch and Zoom. It's like you're not just controlling the game, you're in the game. Great. Another awesome addition to the experience is spatial audio. If you go close to the action, the sound increases. And if a solid object gets between you and the action, the sound is occluded perfectly. And with the stereo speakers on the new iPhone, this is truly amazing. It looks like we're getting hit pretty hard. Yes, deploy a shield to protect our heroes. Now let's rain fire on our enemies, move closer to their base, and get ready for the fatal blow with our super weapon. Oh, the dropship is there. Can you take it out at the same time? What you just saw is an amazing evolution in how games are played and experienced, thanks to the combination of ARKit and Metal 2 on the brand new iPhone. We can't wait for you to play it. Look for the machines on the App Store this month, exclusively on iOS. Thank you. Thank you, Atli. Now, let's talk about wireless. We once said that the future is wireless. And boy, were we right. And that's becoming more true than ever before with iPhone 8. It supports LTE Advanced for fast networking connections, Bluetooth 5.0 for the latest accessories. Of course, it supports our great beloved AirPods and the Beats X headphones that use our W1 chip, and the new Beats Studio 3s as well. And now with iPhone 8, with its glass back, we're enabling the freedom of wireless charging. I mean, this is a simple thing. We do this every day. We use our phones in the day, and we charge them at night. 
often on a charger by our bedstand in our homes or in our hotels. And words can't describe just how much nicer it is to just put it down and pick it up whenever you want to charge without ever having to plug in a cable again. You're going to want to do this by your bedside. You're going to want to do this in a cafe or restaurant as they start to support wireless charging. You want to do it in an airport so you can top up your charge before you get on the next flight. And perhaps the best use case of all, in your car. You can get into your car, wirelessly connect, and start using CarPlay, put your iPhone on the center console, and it's charging all without ever having to plug in a cable again. What makes this possible is we're building into iPhone 8, an 8 plus wireless charging with Qi. Now, Qi is the leading openness wireless charging standard. And we hope to help Qi by increasing adoption of it and creating new use cases for it. Many restaurants, shops, airports, cars have started to build in support for Qi wireless charging, and they'll work with iPhone 8. Many companies are offering Qi chargers, and those that are Qi certified should all work with iPhone 8. And we've worked with some developers who are creating Qi chargers, and we're going to offer them in our stores and online for our iPhone 8 customers, like this one from Mophie and this one from Belkin. So that's iPhone 8. It's a new generation of iPhone. It improves on everything we love about iPhone. It is packed with innovative technologies from the glass and aluminum design to the Retina HD displays, the new A11 Bionic chip. It's, they're designed for AR apps like no phone has been before. They have new single and dual cameras. They have support for the brand new photo lighting effects in portrait mode and wireless charging. Now, iPhone 7 came in these three configurations, starting at 32 gigabytes. But we're really happy to tell you iPhone 8 is going to start with twice the capacity at 64 gigabytes and have a second one at 256 gigabytes. And the price will be $699. iPhone 8 Plus will have the same two configurations, 64 gigabytes and 256 gigabytes, and it will be priced starting at $799. We'll be able to pre-order them starting this Friday on September 15th, and they'll be available a week later on September 22nd. And we can all upgrade to iOS 11 starting on September 19th. So that is iPhone 8. I'd like to turn it back to Tim. Thanks, Tim. iPhone 8 a new generation of iPhone and a huge step forward.